Hey, what's good, fam? It's Kyle Henderson of BamaInsider.com coming to you from beautiful Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Today, we're talking about five Alabama freshmen to watch going into the 2021 season. But before we get going with our video, definitely hit the thumbs up, like, subscribe. We appreciate you more than you know. As you know, Alabama has a lot of early enrollees and a couple guys going into the summertime. We're going to talk about five guys who we feel could make an impact this fall for the Crimson Tide. And we got to lead off with Ajay Hall. You recently saw the video of Ajay Hall going against Isaiah Rogers, who is a defensive back for the Indianapolis Colts down in Florida. Ajay Hall coming away with the big grab, then doing the backflip. Everybody saw the highlights. Great clip for the summertime. I think when you look to Alabama's wide receiving unit, they're going to need players to step up with the loss of Jalen Waddell and the loss of Devontae Smith. You have John Mechie returning, but I think overall there's some question marks about which wide receivers are going to step up. And of course, there's plenty of talent. You can go through the roster and there's going to be wide receivers that certainly have breakthrough seasons. Maybe a Javon Baker, maybe an Xavier Williams. Who knows who could it be? But I think we, what we saw from Ajay Hall during Alabama's eight-day game, you saw four receptions, 72 yards, but I think you saw some acrobatic catches from Ajay Hall that scream he's ready for SEC competition. He's ready to contribute right away. So I think overall, when you look at the wide receivers that came in, and look, we're going to talk about another wide receiver in this video that's not even on campus quite yet. Uh, that's Jojo Earl, but hang tight. You look to Ajay Hall and you look to the wide receivers, um, Ja'Cory Brooks, you look at Christian Leary. I think Ajay Hall is clearly going to be that guy who is the first freshman to make an impact at the receiving unit. The second freshman we're going to talk about is on the defensive side of the ball, and that is Jaquincy McKinstry, a.k.a. Kool-Aid. Now, as everybody knows, is a Pinson Valley native, came to Alabama as a number one prospect from the state of Alabama. As the recruiting process winded down for Jaquincy, people felt maybe it could be Auburn um, or Alabama. It seemed like an in-state battle, but in the end, Kool-Aid ends up at Alabama. And I think overall, I think when you look to his talent level and his ceiling level, Jaquincy McKinstry, who knows how good this young man could be. I think he could have an immediate impact for Alabama. Now, look, I don't know if he's going to start over Jalen Armour Davis, um, but I think it's going to be one hell of a position battle going into this season. You got to look at the overall abilities of both of these young men. And look, it doesn't matter if you're not starting specifically. I think if you're getting reps as a freshman, I think that says a lot because Alabama, if if you're a freshman and you can play, Nick Saban's going to play you. Nick Saban oversees the defensive backs along with Jay Vlad, the corners coach. So look, Jaquincy McKinstry had a fantastic A day, even reeled in an interception. And Alabama's secondary, as we've discussed many times, is going to be absolutely loaded. But the six foot one, 180 pound early enrollee certainly going to make a name for himself this college football season. I think people in Tuscaloosa are already thrilled to know how far he's come in just a couple months being in Alabama. Now, the third freshman we're going to talk about is an offensive lineman by the name of J.C. Latham. Came to Alabama as one of the top offensive linemen in the country. Now, you know, Alabama signed two big five-star offensive linemen, J.C. Latham, Tommy Brockemeyer. We're talking about J.C. Latham right now, six foot six, 325 pounds. And I think Alabama's still trying to figure out their best five going into the season in terms of their offensive linemen. But with J.C. Latham, he came in and, um, you know, working with the twos right now. But I think as Alabama looks to a tackle or maybe a guard, maybe they're going to go to J.C. Latham, and maybe he's the first freshman that gets significant playing time. Now, look, this is hypothetical because we're in May talking about the offensive line. I think there's going to be position battles going into the month of August, really up until that game against Miami. However, from the intel that we gather, J.C. Latham a little bit ahead of the pack and could be one of those guys that is the first freshman from the offensive line to step on the field for the Crimson Tide. Now at linebacker, Alabama completely loaded. Just recently added Henry Toa Toa. They got Christian Harris coming back. You also have Jalen Moody, Shane Lee, a lot of guys at the inside linebacker position. Don't forget about guys coming in this summertime. Dallas Turner, you also have Kendrick Blackshire. So, so much uh, talent across the board at the linebacker position. But let's talk about Deontay Lawson for a second. Projected as inside linebacker, where's the number 32 the same number that Dylan Moses wore at Alabama during his last couple of seasons for the Crimson Tide. It's clear that Deontay Lawson has the talent and he could potentially be a sleeper in this linebacker room to get some playing time. Look, a lot of people are already excited about Henry Toa Toa. Um, you know, even our staff, you know, kind of penciled him in on some recent graphics showing that he's a projected starter. Look, all that could be thrown out the window. Deontay Lawson, I think, has enough talent to where he could see the field and play a significant role at the inside linebacker position. How many times 
Have we seen inside linebackers at Alabama potentially go down? You need depth is my point. And I think you have a young gun by the name of Deontay Lawson who could be one of those guys that is ready for SEC play. There's not a lot of guys that come in to Alabama that are ready to really step onto the field as freshmen. I think, you know, you look to guys like William Anderson and Malachi Moore, those guys, and there's there's going to be those guys every year at Alabama, but out of the, all the early enrollees or, or newcomers in the summertime, it's hard to get on the field as a true freshman, but Deontay Lawson could be one of those guys to get significant playing time on the defense in 2021. Next, we're going to talk about wide receiver JoJo Earl, who is not an early enrollee. He'll be arriving in Tuscaloosa towards the later part of May. At five foot nine, 170 pounds, JoJo Earl has that innate ability to make you miss, and he can be a nightmare at that slot position. So you kind of pair him up with Alabama's additional freshman wide receiver, Jai Hall, who we already spoke about, Ja'Cory Brooks, Christian Leary. JoJo Earl adds another element, and really some overall playmaking ability that could get him on the field sooner than later. I think when you look to that wide receiving unit, I know we talked about that in the beginning of the video, Nick Saban's going to need some key pieces to replace those wide receivers who left this past season. And JoJo Earl coming in, you know, we, we have to see where he's at talent-wise. We have to see how he understands the schematics of the playbook under Bill O'Brien. But I think overall, and from the intel that we gather, JoJo Earl is coming to Tuscaloosa ready to play, ready to step onto the field. So those are the five freshmen that we're talking about today. We're going to talk about more freshmen as we continue to move closer to the 2021 season. We're also going to talk about some newcomers to this team. Henry Toa Toa. Jamison Williams, uh, the new punter, Jack Martin. So uh, a lot of content to get through as we get past this summer season. We want to hear from you. From the freshmen that we talked about today, Ajay Hall, Jaquincy McKinstry, J.C. Latham, DeAndre Lawson, and JoJo Earl. What are your expectations or potential question marks about those individual players going into the season? Do you foresee any one of those freshmen making a big impact for the Crimson Tide during the 2021 season. Sound off in the comment box. As always, we appreciate you, fam, more than you know. Thank you very much for being a part of our channel. Hit the thumbs up, like, subscribe. We'll be back with another video coming your way right here on BamaInsider.com. Thanks again for watching, fam. We sincerely appreciate you. Think about becoming a member of this YouTube channel, just $2.99 per month. Hit the join button at the bottom of the screen. Helps our business model going forward. But again, a simple thumbs up on this video goes a long way for our staff. Check out some of these other videos you might be interested in right here on BamaInsider.com.